Hello everyone, so I've just played the amazing adventures of Captain Spirit in the Life is Strange universe. And today we're going to be doing a review on this super free game. I've got a lot to say about it because it's all fresh in my brain. Intro. The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. Download for free from June 26th. This free game is on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. Now, they say it's two hours long, but the reason why it could only be two hours long, if you go ahead and explore and just do all the stuff that you're meant to do. But if you don't do all the stuff that you're meant to do, then I completed it in under an hour or 58 minutes to be precise. And they've said at the end that you'll meet Chris again in Life is Strange 2. So are those the main antagonists for Life is Strange 2? I hope not, because in my mindset I thought this would just be, um, we will just see Chris here and we won't see him again, but considering they've left off a cliffhanger, I have a bit of a feeling that they're gonna, it's gonna all be about Chris, uh, again in Life is Strange 2, which is okay, but... I don't know, I, I kind of I was hoping this would have an ending, a start to an ending, it didn't really have an ending, it had like a start and then a cliffhanger ending, not an actual will ending. So what are the easter eggs from Life is Strange though? Well the word storm makes a couple of um, references again, prying to the fact either that they had the snowstorm or that storm at the end of Life is Strange season 1, which I'm still convinced that that is the canon ending because to say that um, that both endings are basically how you think it is in a way of canon or not is that in the main ending the ending where I should have to explain this one ending nothing happened the other ending something did happen so Dante's just been fucking idiots by not letting us know truly what actually happened because by playing Life is Strange 2 and they mention I know this big storm thing a couple of times what storm? because in one of the endings it would have never happened and if you got to this point it blows my mind it does but the word Principal Wells makes a return once again. Um, Arcadia Bay, I think it's also um, mentioned a little bit. Um, there are also some little references to schools and all that. There are three characters in this one. You've got Chris, you've got Chris's dad, and you've also got a neighbour. Um, and yeah, now I will say this. This is definitely the bonus episode edition of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Why? Well, in both scenarios, there's a map of stuff that you need to do. Um, there's also some sadness at the end of it prior to a cliffhanger leading into something else there is. There's probably more, but this is how it is. Did, they, did Dante actually create something original? Yes, but they took the format of Before the Storm and Before the Storm Farewell and just throw it into there. They could deny it, but the similarities are there and, they, and Dante must have given them the rights to deck 9 to make before the storm so what would I actually give um, the amazing ventures to Captain Spirit well I'm, uh, I am impressed there were some key moments again where you do get scared <laughs> a little bit um, the fighting powers thing only makes when I was playing it once it only happened but maybe if you play a bit more you might be able to look at it a bit more differently the game gets a 8 out of 10. I won't agree that it's not the best work from Dante. I'm hoping that can prove me wrong when Life is Strange 2 comes out this year. I'm excited I am. The first episode is up, the whole thing is like up to pre-orders now. I'm waiting for an Amazon to get it. And please guys, I know digital, I know we had digital for this and for Storm, but when it comes to Life is Strange 2, can you please release a cover version, like a physical copy, not after, like months after, because it's just going to be a nightmare, and I'm not pre-ordering it from, like, from the Microsoft store. Anyway, 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this with you, or maybe even weren't. Anyway, uh, peace guys, and bye.